Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Virgil Warrior here. Hope you guys have a super awesome day. I having issues on uh, Facebook, so I'm here in my uh, group. So what I'll do, once I post it here, I'll go ahead and make the changes in my YouTube and then come back and share it on my particular page, okay? So if you look at the topic today is help in daily living. It's the same book that I'm dealing with, the Ministry of Healing. It's the same book. It's the same author of each each um, of these books, uh, Steps to Christ and um, Steps to Christ, and then the Ministry of Healing. It's the same book. It's only it's a different uh, chapter within the book. So we're going to start with daily help in daily living. If you think about it, we all need help. We all need help in how we can live a better life in today's society. So um, may we bow our heads for prayer. The kind of gracious and Father ask you to be with us as we cover uh, help in daily living. Continue to be with us as we cover your word. In Jesus' name, amen. So if we look at uh, 1 John uh, 4, and it says, uh, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit, whether there are God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Whereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ is coming in the flesh is of God. And so when I ask you what time it is, what time it is, it's time for us to get our life in order. Time for us to get our life in order. Why? Because Jesus is coming back very soon, very soon. And some people might say, well, Bertel, you know what? Probably another 100 years or whatever. But then what if it is another hundred years? But then what if your time on earth is less than that? Okay, less than that. So we don't, no one knows when their time on earth will be up, right? So we need to be living each day, I should say, each moment as if it's our last day on earth. Because when uh, our final day on earth is, okay, and you should die for whatever reason, and you did not die in Christ, right? You did not confess your sin. You did not um, forsake your sin and turn your affections to Jesus. That means to say we want you want to be lost. So in instead of doing that, we want to be able to say when we see God coming in the cloud, we want to say, "Lo, this is my God. We have waited for Him, and He will save us." We want to be in now our position every moment in every moment okay we don't want to be lost okay so we talk about help in daily living and it goes like this there is an eloquent far more powerful than the eloquence of word in the quiet consistent life of a pure true christian what a man is has more influence than what he says the officer who were sent to jesus came back with the report that never man spoke as he spoke. But the reason for this was that never man lived as he lived. Had his life been other than it was, he could not have spoken as he did. His words bore with them a convicting power because they came from a heart pure and holy full of love and sympathy, okay, but benevolence and truth. It is our own character and experience that determine our influence upon others. Let me repeat that. Let me repeat that. Let me go and see. I'm making sure my camera is on, right? Hold on. Hold on here. Okay, hold on. Let's do something here. Hold on. Where stuff is going here with my camera. I have to get it right. Okay. So let me go back and, and, and speak that. It says, it says, but the reason for this was that never man lived as he lived. Okay. Had his life been other than it was, he would not have spoken as he did. His words bore with them a convicting power because they came from a heart pure and holy, 
full of love and sympathy and benevolence and truth. It is our own character and experience that determine our influence upon others. In order to convict others of the power of Christ's grace, we must know its power in our own in our own hearts and lives. The gospel we presented for the saving of the soul must be the gospel by which our own souls are saved. Only through a living faith in Christ as a personal savior is it possible to make our influence felt in a spectacle world. If we withdraw sinners out of the shift running current our own feet must be firmly set upon the rock which rock is that is Christ Jesus the badge of Christianity is not an outward sign not the wearing of a cross or a crown but it is that which reveal the union of man with God by the power of his grace manifested in the transformation of character, the world is to be convinced that God has sent his son as, as its redeemer. No other influence that can surround the human souls had such power as influence as an unselfish life. The strongest argument in favor of the gospel is a loving and lovable Christian. Let me repeat that. The strongest argument in favor of the gospel is a loving and lovable Christian. Isn't that powerful? Isn't that powerful? So we want to live each day as if it's our last. We want to be the example of... Uh, that people could say, hey, look at her. She has spent time or he has spent time with God. Look at them. They have spent time with God. We want to be those type of individual. We can't say we one thing and are uh, living another life, right? Because it states here that we have to have the power. They have to say, by the power of his grace manifested in the transformation of the character, the world is to be convinced that God has sent his son as its redeemer. So we are here, uh, we are the ambassadors of Christ. And as an ambassador of any country, that ambassador do not do the things that they want to. They do the things based on what the country tells them to do. So where do we get our guidelines? Where do, where we, where do we get our blueprint? We as Christians, we get our blueprint from the whole Bible. The whole 66 books is not, okay, we just do the New Testament and we don't do the Old Testament. It all goes hand in hand. So a Christian life is based on the whole Bible, okay, the whole Bible. And within the whole Bible, we have the Ten Commandments, right? God asks us to keep the Ten Commandments. And within the Ten Commandments, he gave us a specific day to serve him. And that is the Fourth Commandment. And that is the seventh day is the Sabbath. Some people say Saturday is the Sabbath of the Lord, right? It's from Friday sundown to sun to Saturday sundown. It's a 24-hour cycle, okay? So that's how we, we um, celebrate God's creation. And he rested. So we as a human Christians, we do the same thing. But we go out and we witness to other people. We share the gospel. We go into... Um, the nursing home convalescence we go visit the sick and shutting there's a lot of stuff that we do uh, not doing our own work but doing the work that God has called us to, to do I hope that makes sense and we know that there is the beast and we know that there's the dragon and then we know that there's a false prophets and they are all gathering together under one banner so we need to be able to distinguish between the true prophets of God and the false prophet. And how can we know that? By studying the word of God. We have to be able to study the word of God. And not a five minutes prayer or a ten minutes prayer is not going to 
uh, give us the strength that we need uh, for the battle that we are facing each day or the battle that's supposed to, that's coming our way. So we only be able to do that by standing on the word of God. And this is how we can tell whether someone is true or they're speaking false based on the word of God. So with the song today, it's um, 679 and it talks, it says, God be in my head. Isn't it beautiful? God be in my head and in my thinking. God be in my eyes and in my looking. God be in my mouth and in my speaking. Oh God be in my heart and be in my understanding. This should be our prayer each day. Let's close with prayer. Dear kind of gracious Heavenly Father, I ask you to be with my sister and brother. Give them a blessing from on high today. Uh, be with us, Father, as we continue to search the scripture daily to so that we can have a better a relationship, a better understanding of what your will is for us. Continue to bless each one of us today. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen, amen. So my sister, my brother, have a super awesome day. And continue studying like you have never studied before. Continue fasting and praying, okay? We have to be able to fast and pray. There's different reasons for fasting. There's different reasons for prayer, okay? And we have to be able to do that continually, you know, 24-7. Uh, That's a continual thing that we need to do. So until tomorrow, talk to you guys soon. Take care.